This is a massive pit. Dave's about to get himself stuck. Oh yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> What'd you do? I was wondering how to back back up that now. We are deep out in the Indiana wilderness, back in the forest. We are going to go to the deepest pit in Indiana today. And uh, there's quite the crew. We're gonna set up a few ropes, drop over a hundred feet down into the center of the earth to find a muddy chasm of a maze of tunnels. Let's go. Here we are. You can tell by the giant warning sign. Yeah, we've got a massive gang with us. It's gonna be a couple of their first pits. My wife, Kelsey, go follow her at Rock Rat. And then Steve, go follow him over at Charlie Expeditions. Later, Dave. I've seen two bolts on that. All right. Oh, yeah, buddy. So what we're looking for right now is apparently there's a area we can crawl to with another rope. Oh, I see it. Oh, this is intense. Yeah, I'm coming off rope right now. Just give me one more, well, I'm actually off rope. <laughs> All right, off rope. What's up, dude? What's, What's going on, man? man? Not much, just your first time in this cave? In this cave, yeah, man. I've never caved in Indiana ever. Dude. Best place ever. You out here for the whole week? I gotta leave Sunday. Oh, damn. Ever. Honestly, I'm right, I'm right behind you. I gotta leave Monday night. Yeah, I got. Yeah. Boss, boss might not like me if I called in. No, I hear and that. He knew I'd be lying if I said, oh man, my truck broke down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy, he still came. <laughs> they, they know you long enough. They know what's up. He thinks it's fucking wild. He said, now don't go doing nothing crazy. He says, well, then I might as well not even go. Right? Oh, it's got a little step back here. Oh, that's convenient. It's slippery. Big undercut. Heard. Thank you. Heard that! Hey, just a heads up, I'm gonna wait till Kelsey and Hannah get down a little bit so I can go down with them. What's up, Hannah? What's up? How's it going up there? It's going. Right on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? I've Oh yeah, it is misty in here. Here they come. <laughs> Look at them go, this is awesome. Coming down like a SWAT team. This is a massive pit. That's me right here, right beside y'all. 
This is a really sweet third line. You were right, Dave. This is a sweet drop. Yeah. I couldn't hear you. What? A waterfall? That is sweet. Wow, that is awesome. There's like a four-day rain delay in this cave. Let's zip it down. Oh yeah! Nice Woo! <laughs> there they are coming down right into the waterfall. This will be interesting. Boom! Oh man! Kelsey in the waterfall! <laughs> yeah, Kelsey. Dude, this is a hell of a first pit. Give me yeah, a high five. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> All right, so we're leaving this massive room. God, this place is epic. A third line comes down from way up there. Anyway, I feel a lot of air blowing through this right here. So you know I gotta go. And I'm not gonna just sit here and pretend like I don't know what's back here. I've actually already been in this cave. There's a rope back here I gotta climb. I didn't do it last time, but I was also very ignorant when it comes to vertical stuff, so. Wow, yeah, look at this. Another massive dome. Epic. Took this freaking insane flashlight up. It's a TM20K from Nightcore. 20,000 lumens. You guys have been asking for insane light and I, Nikor supplied me with one. That is their brightest light. And it is so bright, I can't really use it for anything other than caving. Unless I wanna light up like a football field. I'll shut up, let's climb this rope. What's up, guys? What's up? How's it going? What up? For, hey, Steve, how was your first repel, man? I, it wasn't scary. It was fun, but it was just uh, like trying to get used to yeah. like it. Yeah. The technique, it was like, yeah, it was like messy. <laughs> it's life-changing, though, right? Yeah. Check out these beautiful Indiana rocks. Yeah. All this entire wall is just flowstone. <laughs> Comes from way up there. That honestly means that there's probably a passage up there. Oh, I am an idiot. I totally forgot to record this uh, ascent up. Yeah. But I'm at the top and I am slowly but surely getting myself up. All right. What? Man, I haven't seen this part of the cave yet. Huh? Really? Tired? Didn't Wes do this with you guys like what, 12 hours? Or... Yeah. I guess it's 24 hours ago now. Kyle, when you get up, head straight and then to your left. Oh, nice. That's the harness takeoff spot I see. What, over there? Oh, dude, I hate climbing through this with my harness I am on. absolutely refusing to do that. Off rope! You're leaving it on? No, hell no. Oh, it sucks, dude. No. <laughs> dude, I've been waiting a year to get up to this spot. <laughs> That's a traverse line? Yeah. Or you were traversed across the formations no, over there? No, it used to tie over here, but it's like getting ready to break in there. <laughs> and I had a front hook to it, I said, I'm on hook in that. I don't blame you, dude. All right, we are now in this crawl right at the top of that rope. Up here. Dave, Kelsey, Steve, and Hannah 
Or forward of me. Yeah, forward of you. What were you yelling just a minute ago? I couldn't hear a word you said. I was wondering if you were joining the party. No, I'm going back. I'm going to go send the big rope. <laughs> I'm going to go pull all three Send of them up. Your line on your way down. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, I got you, dude. You will die if you go down that. Oh, I ain't touching you that rope. You die, but you will be severely injured. I am not touching that rope. <laughs> dude, it's like cut damn near in half in quite a few spots. Really? Yeah. You just kind of show what we're. Oh, yeah, someone pulled What I'm in right now. It's crawly. It's muddy. The mud actually kind of cushions your elbows and knees. Oh, goodness. Wow, look at all these soda straws. This is a beautiful passageway, guys. Let's go. I get giant slab to break down that made it to where you had to crawl through. Now I got a good look at what the other side looks like. That's some serious breakdown. Dang, dude. Let me turn on my good light. They're very fragile soda straws. Look, they're like you barely touch them they break. Oh, wait, what was that? No. <laughs> you blow on them when they break. Wow, dude. They're cool, ain't they? They are cool. They're all so like crooked too yeah like none of them are straight down uh-huh well, wind blows through the thing the season changes shame there's so many broken ones they're all fused together down here they've been here for so long the calcite's built back up and you can't move i mean you can move that guy you can't move that though wow it's beautiful dang man What's happening? I thought I heard someone say it ended up here. No, not I say, why did I climb the rope? One pet. Dang, dude, it's like crystal castles. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. They're all like so chalky white too. It almost looks like a. Uh, fall off the ceiling though. Look at how they're just. Oh yeah. The mud and then they just fall off. Funny. This oh, is yeah. a cool passage. Yeah. I know. What's down here? Ah, uh, that passage number two. Oh. So, we're about to have to crawl through some squeezy stuff. Squeezy. Did they go over top? <laughs> you can't fit over that. I don't want to, I was asking <laughs> if they did it. I could have, if I didn't have my gear on here. All right, here we go. <laughs> you can't go over that, but we can go over it. Ugh. There's nice soft mud down here to cushion your fall. Yeah, not too bad. Right, I'm gonna take my helmet off because no one wants to watch the ground the whole time. Nothing but crawls back here. What? You go from Indiana's biggest pit to Indiana's tightest crawl. All in one, action packed, man. It's really not that bad. No. Is it really their speakers? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that's too good. Oh, dude. It's good. Oh, yeah, it goes. Whoa, it does open up, don't it? There's a lot of air blowing up at the top of that climb. There's a lot of poop in here. A lot of poop? I'm surprised because usually there's thousands of bats on the ceiling in here. Oh, I just got poop in my boots. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Wow, it's a big room. It is pretty big. You know what that means? TM 20K. <laughs> there's a hole in the ceiling, guys. There's a hole in the ceiling. That's where we're going. I repeat, there's a hole in the ceiling. That's where we're going. Give it out, hound dog. One more time. <laughs> That's where we're going. There's two holes in the ceiling. There's a hole. And a baby hole. In the ceiling. Oh, that's really bad. Where is it? There's a lot of doo doo in here. So we're in the inside of something right now. We're in the inside of something with with with, on the with poop. Yo, Yo. Get there. There's got to be more ways than just the way Dave's going, because that looks horrible. I. Notice this little crawl down area. 
back here in this breakdown room. I'm gonna go see where it goes. Dave said it might go somewhere. He knows everything about this cave. I don't. And he is just tricking me that this just loops around. Or does it? Keeps on going. Keeps on going. Keeps on keeping on. Keeps on keeping on. Is this going to go to that other down area? Uh, I don't know. Oh. I think it seems like some feet prints. Yeah, I don't know. They're probably from the uh, lizard people from but I BC think, 25. Now that you're down here, I'm going to try to squeeze it. But there's like a way that way. Okay. I'll but pull you out if you need me to. Yeah, that's what's going to happen, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're going oh, that's back. cool, dude. The, the hidden slit. It is pretty cool. I thought I was going to loop back down to the... Uh, oh. It kind of it might dead end. We'll see. Dave's about to get himself stuck. Oh, yeah. Gonna yeah, Dave's gonna get stuck, <gasps> and we're gonna pull him out. Dude, this is all super. Is this the same way? Huh? Uh -oh. So you're climbing up underneath the room right now, I guess. Dude. Uh, I f up. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? I was wondering how I'm gonna back back up that now. Uh, let me. Well, first, let me get out of your way. If you need some help, I'm gonna back uphill. If you need some help, I'll pull on your ankles really hard, right? Is that what body part is messed up of yours, your ankles? Uh, my whole body is messed up. Okay, gotcha. Five. You going back in for seconds? Five. No. Oh. So we're going I say, that sounded like it was a... A, a dud. Yep. Oh, I just gotta get this part on. Okay. I gotta just keep doing this right here. No sense. <sighs> say hi, boys. Oh. Hi! <laughs> I got a backup one you can use if you need it. All I know, man, is it got to a point where I was squeezed pretty tightly in here. There's a lot of bat poo back here. It looked like I could push it further. It smells like a sewer down here, dude. Like a sewer? Kinda. Maybe I'm just making that up. No, it's like a sewer smell. Maybe it's a sewer. Maybe. Oh, it's all just bat poo. Dude, did you see the snake shed? No, I didn't. Really? No. I'll see it on the way out. I'm too far in this thing to yeah. turn around. Can you turn around if you need to? Yeah. Alright, well let me know when you can't turn around because I'm coming. Okay. It's about to happen here, like right now. Oh really? Yeah. It stopped. Uh, don't stop. It just gets insane. Uh, it's not happening. No, dude, too tight. Yeah. Okay. God, dude, it goes as long as I can. Hello? I, th I thought I saw a room back there. I'm trying to get an echo. There's no echo. All right, I'm about to get myself stuck. I'm going to get out of here. We're going to get back to the rope. Right, you got Kelsey going down the rope. We're getting out of this cave. <laughs> we got just slowed up over here. I know, it sucks to be at the very end of the line. If I die, you guys can have my red boy, you can split it. Appreciate okay. you, man. Come on, walk here. Be aware, that rope's really muddy, so it might be kind of hard to feed. Okay. Dude, I feel like my main headlamp is like going, like done. Like he's like dying like in real life. Hold on. Make sure. It's like weaker and weaker every time I use it. I bet you it's not the headlight, but it's the battery itself is not very healthy. Oh, I should try that. Cause it's not holding charge very long or I didn't even think about that. I do that retro, I do just need a new battery. It sucks though, because that's like a special battery. Dude, it? I went to like five vape stores before I found one. And they had like two left. Three more. Awesome. Will you tie the uh, rack to the bottom of the rope so I can pull it up? Yeah. Thank you. 
Oh, is it stuck on that fourth bar? Sure is. Oh, the end is right here. Yeah, so you care me you're gonna go through like that. Yeah, man. It's no joke. It's literally life and death. But this gear, you can trust. I promise you. You got you got good gear, man. SMC and Petzl ain't gonna let you down. Oh, nice. All right, here I go. You get nervous doing like stuff like this? Not anymore. I used to be like, like you just were. Bro, I was like, I thought I was like, I'm gonna die. Yeah. I mean, dude, honestly, man, one of the big reasons I cave is because I am absolutely, well, specifically vertically cave, is because I am petrified when it comes to heights. And it's really helped me get over that. So check us out. This is a uh, once you get good at your act, you can start using the hyper function, or you just go down two bars over the hyper bar. And it'll make you fall faster. It'll make you go. It makes you go. You have a lot less control, but for little drops like this, it's uh, you can easily just like throw the rope on real quick. I'm about to freeze, dude. Really? Yeah. You burning up? Probably all that adrenaline dump. I mean, realistically, if you'd fallen off that, Dude. yeah, you would have gotten pretty fucked up. Talking to me? Are you waiting on me? Oh, shit, I thought you were ascending. My bad. I needed to tell you to get this, uh, this walkie-talkie. That's why I just stayed behind. Okay. Here, I got it, I got it. Okay. Wait, wait, let me get it out. Okay, all right, am I good? That's in. That's in, that's in. Steering lock. The straps um, are good. You see this one? The strap is good. Yep, you're good there. Double back. Harness nice and tight. Yep. All right, all right. Got this one. Get your ass out, hell yeah. You got your, yeah, you got it. Coming out. Say what? I said the sun is coming out. Don't tell me that. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it's like last year all over again. I ain't complaining. So I went Kelsey all my good vertical gear. I've got a rock climbing harness and just some crap I threw together this morning. I mean, it's working. It's just three times as much work to do. One ascent. I sink down about half the ascent I made. Whatever though. Put your legs. Oh, that's a nice little change up. Oh, yeah, bro. My hand is in there. I'm out. I'm How good. so? I'm good. Okay, cool. That's scary. Don't let it, man. You got two of them. Don't let it slow you down. You got this. Oh, that's that mud in the water. It'll do that sometimes. Just gotta find a good spot for it to catch. Oh, I see the top. There's Steve. 
Conquer in his first pit. He champed his way through this thing. So did Kelsey. I'm so proud of her, dude. She did a 140 foot pit with a waterfall coming down it. That's her second time in a cave. First pit ever. Tell me that ain't a prodigy. This vertical setup is so trash. I'm gonna probably got one foot at a time. 140 of these. Ridiculous. Hey, what's going on guys? My GoPro battery died right as I was climbing out of that pit. Um, I was too lazy and tired to swap it out, so I messed up. Don't have an outro for you, so here it is. This was the first cave of Cave Chaos 2024. Go follow Dave from Fun Finding for Two. He put this whole week together, and in my opinion, it's the best week out of the year. Uh, there's also a bunch of other guys on the Indiana crew. I'm gonna link them all in the description below. Go give them a follow. And uh, congrats to Kelsey and Steve for their first pit ever. I will see you guys next week. I've got a few more Indiana videos for you coming your way.